crops across the state are looking bountiful as harvest season is well underway. Indiana State Department of Agriculture Director Bruce Kettler says harvest season brings traffic concerns for both farmers and motorists. There are still accidents, unfortunately, uh, between farm machinery and, uh, and other motorists every year. Uh, we're getting better at it, but it, the fact of the matter is there still is uh, the, the propensity for a little bit of uh, people to you know, not realize sometimes what goes on when large farm machinery is on our rural road. To help increase roadway safety, the department created a video to remind motorists to be on the lookout for farm vehicles on the roads. Most traffic is moving at a pretty reasonable rate of speed. But uh, when it comes to the large farm machinery that we have, it tends to travel very, very slow, a lot slower than most people realize. And so uh, I think it's just a way to be able to kind of remind folks that during this time of the year, this equipment's going to be moving pretty slow. Director Kettler says motorists need to exercise patience and share the road. The one thing that I've always tried to encourage and that we, we encourage with what we're doing with the video is first and foremost, Give yourself extra time as a motorist. Uh, I always encourage people, I try to, to practice myself when I know that I'm going to be going somewhere this time of the year, to leave a little bit early. Director Kettler also reminds Hoosiers of the new hands-free law, which prohibits use of handheld devices while driving. Let's put the phone down, use the hands-free devices that we know we can get and make sure that we're not distracting ourselves any more than, a, than we already might be. Director Kettler says motorists should always follow the rules of the road, don't tailgate farm equipment, and be especially careful when passing. The new video is posted on YouTube. Find it by searching Harvest Safety 2020. For Star City News, I'm Dave North, reporting in Tippecanoe County.